Hello, and welcome to the sit down. Showtime! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, elephants and squirrels, this is DJ Raviesta here today on the sit down. And I got some guests. We've got Jeremy, Whoa. Jal Bagel, the boy. That's me. We've got Samuel, also known as Ken Seven Jojo. <laughs> and then we've got Shannon, Whoa. first time here on the sit down. And what we're gonna talk about, as you may have guessed, is Animal Crossing. So Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming out Je well, I almost said January, fail. <laughs> wow, March I wish. 20th, I wish it did come out. March 20th. March 20th, that is the Ooh. day. That is the day we're gonna Soon. get it. We are hyped. We had a direct come out recently that we're gonna kinda talk a lot about since we got a decent amount of information from that. That was 25 minutes long. So guys, let's start with what we're hyped about. Like, what are you guys ready to see in Animal Crossing New Horizons? So Shannon, we'll start with you. Um, I think the biggest thing that surprised me was the amount of like customization, like ha just how much you can edit your town and control like where villagers live, where you live. Plus, I'm not exactly sure about the shops and different things like that, but even like terraforming, that's hugely different. So, plus of custom designs, all of those on furniture, that looks fantastic. Um, when we move the building and everything else, it's almost like a lot of pressure to be able to make like your perfect town, however you want to <laughs> want to plan that out, which is a little bit of uh, you know a little nervous wracking. Cause I remember my town in uh, New Leaf was just like so many flowers that you couldn't run, like you could not <laughs> run. I made signs. I made signs that said no running. <laughs> I, I remember seeing anyway, them. Anyway, there were too many flowers, and I thought I would organize my flowers. Yeah, I don't think it's physically possible to organize the amount. Yeah. So anyway, but I'm excited about it. It's uh, going to definitely be a very feels like you're a lot more in control of everything. Plus, being able to you know customize your character just feels like they've trying to um, you know, give us a lot more options. So. Yeah, I, I definitely resonate with that. Like the, the island sculpting, like being able to just make things yeah. however you want it. That's, that's something I've always wanted since like City Folk because mm -hmm. like it was just like, oh, I have this thing here, but I, can't, I have to walk all the way around to like get past the river oh, or something yeah. like that. The bridge yeah. is over there and I'm over it. No, I don't want to do that. So I'm glad they added that. Yeah. That's probably my high point, honestly. It was definitely a feature that you would have expected New Leaf to have that it just didn't. Right. And you and it was just one of those things. It's like you can't control really anything as far as a building's concerned. Yeah. The only thing you could had control over was like little projects and stuff like that. Now we have all of the control. Exactly. And, you know, <laughs> you go from a, 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 a person living in the city to the mayor of the city to God. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are Animal Crossing deities now. So. We have risen. <laughs> Sam, what about you, man? Um, for me, it's really the multiplayer aspect. Okay. I love the fact that on one switch, on one island, you can have eight accounts or eight villagers or eight player characters live on the same island. Because I want to get my mom, <laughs> yes, I said my mom, and I want, I want my mom to get into the series because I just want to show her the joy of video games, obviously. And she loves cute things. She loves blathers because she loves owls okay. and stuff. But uh, I also want some of my friends to enjoy the game who might not get the game as well. So they get to try it out a little bit on my island. I have some people on my island to live with before animal villagers. So it's, it's just a fun way to experience it with people before they get the game or if they don't want to get the game, but they're just like, oh, I'll play it with you for a little bit, so. Right, yeah, so you get to include everyone and just everyone gets to have some fun playing mm -hmm. the game. And you know, like, speaking of the multiplayer though, like one thing I'm really hyped about is the fact that we, no one can come into your town and, you know, essentially wreck everything, like deforestation to the max, 29,000 yeah. trip, uh, like pitfall traps, like no one's mm -hmm. doing that anymore. Like I'm really glad they took that out. Like it, it was annoying. Only your <laughs> best friends can torture you like that. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Cause we know they will. Yeah. So don't invite me to your towns, everyone. They'll cut down every tree. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, I'm really liking the multiplayer. Are, are there any aspects to it that you guys are looking forward to? Like specific Probably. things you guys want In to do? In the multiplayer? Do? Like for the multiplayer, yeah. I'm just curious to see cause exactly how the, 
eight villagers, one switch account actually works. Because mm -hmm. like in my mind, it's like, it, it seems still kind of detached, you mm -hmm. know, because like you can have one person editing this town and it's cool if you're sharing a console and like you mm -hmm. have this kind of symbiosis with the other people that are using that same island. Um, if it, I don't know, because it, it's weird. It's like, well, you get this section and you get this section and like, what if you change something that somebody else doesn't like? So I'm mm -hmm. curious to see how that plays and like what, what you actually have control over. Mm -hmm. um, that's just like one of my big, big thinking points. Like I'm curious to see how they actually implement this thing and then other multiplayer aspects like other people online, other switches, other accounts, or local multiplayer, if that's even a thing, so. Yeah. Yeah, party well, play. They, they, they do yeah. have local, yeah. They have party play. That's, yeah. that's in there. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm just so, because like between the direct, they, they gave us just this kind of taste that multiplayer exists, and then PAX East, which is happening right now, they've been showing some things. They came out with a new trailer two days ago yeah. um, that showed a bigger multiplayer aspect and, and how it can be used between four people. Um, which is just, it just seemed more like, still a lot like New Leaf, uh, where you just kind of invite people to come in mm -hmm. and hang out in your place. Um, but then we also have, what is it, the island uh, expeditions, the Mystery Island tours? Yeah, where you can like, go to like random islands yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure if those are I don't know multiplayer. If they're multiplayer. I hope they are. Exactly. I... So but that's the thing that I'm kind of, I really want the multiplayer aspect to be like, multiplayer, Animal Crossing with friends, going on adventures, doing all this yeah. stuff, being able to customize and create together. I'm just curious to see how they implement it and how limited it actually comes out to being. Right. Mm -hmm. I think I'm excited for the, I know there's like a voice chat option, that sort oh, really? of thing. Yeah, yeah, that was, wasn't that in the direct? Yeah, that's that? happening. Yeah. They're using that with yeah. um, the, the, the Switch app. The Switch mm -hmm. app, that's right. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. I thought that sounded fun because I've I've never had like a Discord account until I finally joined like a couple weeks ago just for Animal Crossing. Okay. Like, because that's the type of person I am. I don't game that much, but for Animal Crossing, it was like yes, I want to <laughs> join a, a community. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, I think that's going to be um, a lot of fun. I, I'm hoping the yeah. you know online features. And I know the islands. There, it doesn't seem like we're going to have like the multiplayer like the mini games that were in New mm -hmm. Leaf, but I didn't really take advantage of those that much before. Neither did I. Yeah. They were really simple, like we did it mm -hmm. a couple times, yeah. you and I, but I mean, outside of the hour that we actually did it, they were really simple, They there wasn't really any benefit to doing it. Yeah. It was just a small, it was something to do. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that, that New Leaf's multiplayer was kind of like a tease at what it, what it could be with the Switch. Right. So. Yeah, I consider it more fun to go to like the island and you know, fish for sharks and stuff. Yeah, like no, that, yeah, oh, which yeah. I can imagine those sort of things in New Horizons. Fill out that yeah. museum. Oh, yeah. Yes, the museum. Speaking, yes, the let's museum. talk about it. the museum. Looks freaking beautiful. <laughs> yes. I saw it in the direct. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's crazy to see <clears throat> what what it was in like in in right because it was in City Folk too. Right? Yeah. Because uh, I, I played maybe two hours of City Folk, so I, I don't know City Folk. Uh, and then I saw the museum, like screenshots of the museum in that, and was like, oh, that's really simple, but that's kind of cute how they do that, you know, like a little spot for everything. And then I thought the way they did it in New Leaf was really unique and really creative, but then just seeing what it is for New Horizons. It's it blows it out of the water. Oh, cool! Like we had this just you know circular little pedestal, and then a garden, and that's where all of your butterflies, butterflies go. go. Oh yeah. god, that looks so cool! It's and then beautiful. the the fossil museum, you can run underneath them and all. Yeah. I'm blown away. The the aquarium looks like also it's not just like you know single fish. No. There are school of fish. It Which looks that's so interesting. How's yeah. that going to work? If you if you donate one fish, will it just become the school, or it doesn't? It's a wishy washy. Seem... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it just looks like so much more. You know, it was, we don't really care how realistic Animal Crossing is, but it does feel more like you're in a museum and it's just it, more interactive and it's just so pretty. So. Yeah, it, it looks so, mm -hmm. so good. So pretty. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. How many ways can we say so pretty? <laughs> so pretty. Thesaurus, anyone? <laughs> But uh, what about you, Sam? Are you hyped for the museum? Are you gonna go catch a whole bunch of bugs and fish? So I am excited for the museum. Like Shannon said, the the um, the aquarium is what really got to me because I'm just like, wow, you have multiple fish in there, and that's. Yeah. But what concerns me is like, what if you have carnivorous fish in there, <laughs> and you just have just some random chill little fish and he's just like oh i'm just swimming around minding my own business and he's like oh hey i'm gonna eat you <laughs> and and then that fish is gone and then blathers is just like hey your uh display got eaten so you need to go get another one for me and 
That, that could I, be a cool quest. That might. I doubt it, but if it did happen, I would. I'd laugh, honestly. <laughs> I want this museum <laughs> management thing, because that was my problem with New Leaf, is eventually I just ran out of things to do. Yeah. And because mm. it, it, it turned into, ugh, New Leaf came out at such a perfect time for me, because I was in college. Mm. And so it was perfect. I had an hour in the morning, an hour during lunch, and an hour in the afternoon to play. So I could get all my time slots and do all my time-related things for, the, for that day. And I did that every day for 400 hours. And, <laughs> yep. And I believe it. But it eventually just got to the point where like what I was doing was monotonous and repetitive and mm. it just didn't feel like a new experience because I had 400 hours in you know, a city management game. Yeah. And it's gonna happen. Of, you got everything that you needed to get done, done. Correct. So, yeah. but the thing that kind of fixes it with New Leaf is, and this is the thing that I was talking to you about before, is like I couldn't remember what it was and I finally remembered it, daily quests. Mm. I love that implementation because there's so much that you can do in Animal Crossing and people recognize that when they first start playing but they kind of forget about that the longer you go. Exactly. And then it runs into the fact it's like, oh, I don't have anything to do. Well, if you have mm. a daily quest that reminds you that the things that exist in the game that you can go and do and there's a reward to get from that, uh, I'm, I'm extremely excited about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Nook that, Miles. That's, Nook that's Miles. Nook yep. Miles, yeah. yeah. Like, them incorporating that really is going to make the replayability of this game, like, through the roof, like we could just go in, find something to do, no matter what day, no matter what yeah. time of year. There's always yeah. something yeah. to do now. And it's we'll gonna give you goals, it. exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I actually liked also that there's, um, speaking on that note of, you know, it, changing, they're having updates. That's gonna be different that we yeah. don't. Oh, they're, they're, they're doing, they're doing. updates, yeah. Three yeah. Updates. They're not so. having all of the holidays in the base game. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So they're gonna yes. make them as it goes. Exactly, mm -hmm. so people won't be able to time travel and be like, oh, I'm yeah. gonna go experience Christmas now. Yeah, you know, no, so. can't do that, because it doesn't exist. Uh, exactly. Yeah. We haven't programmed Christmas yet. Exactly. <laughs> and I've, I've had, I've read some people in groups that were a little upset about that because they were worried that they might miss certain events. That was always a thing where, yeah. you know, who some people might not have time to play Animal right. Crossing on Christmas you know, yeah. <laughs> Eve or whatever. But maybe I'm hoping with the updates that maybe they'll make it so that I, I don't really want to copy Pocket Camp, but maybe they'll have a little bit more extended time period so people don't have to, you know, worry about needing time travel to do all the stuff they want to do. Yeah, like yeah. it's a span of time. Yeah. Like you have yeah. two weeks to do this event. And that's that's right. the smart way you do live events in a video game, especially in a video game that is trying to use the events for replayability, because yeah. that's, that's what it is. Seasonal events are to get people to get to new content, so it's your next 10, 20 hours of gameplay. Right. And that's the smart way to do it, and I wholly agree with that, because I was never the person that did the time traveling in New Leaf. I never did that. Mm. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it a couple times. I think oh, GameCube. Oh, with your turnips, though. Oh, the GameCube version. Okay, I did but, it. Oh, okay. Rossetti, <laughs> when, you're, when, you, when I was younger, though, it felt like Rossetti was just yelling at me for like half an hour in yeah. my kid brain, too. It made me like, uh, you know, like start panicking. <laughs> and so I stopped. You know? Plus, it was really annoying and the music just repeating over and yeah. over. Dun, dun, dun. They're like, you know, it's just, <laughs> you oh, God, I'll never that do now. that again. Yeah, so I've only done it like three times. but. <laughs> <laughs> I want to quickly mention something about Rossetti that I noticed from the direct. Like, I'm not sure if anyone else noticed this, but when they brought up the the rescue section, they played Rossetti's music. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I'm like, has he been repurposed? I, so yeah, and I'm wondering about that too. Maybe because we don't have time travel, maybe that's they're finding a new way. But I but we didn't see him, and I was like, we better like come on. But, yeah. yeah. It'd be neat if they gave him a new role. Yeah. It would be good because the only time you ever saw him, because like, he's a he's a cool character, he's integral, he's, he's meme culture in, in Animal yeah. Crossing, and it would be neat to see another function of Rossetti, not yeah. just this mm -hmm. one that is that is parenting you, that is policing you, <laughs> but but one that is reminding you like, hey, don't cheat by, by, by <laughs> changing your time, but then also like, oh, but you can do this thing with me. You know, you don't do anything with him in the other games. He just yells at you. Yeah. So. Seems like guilt trip, guilt trip, guilt trip. That's yeah. pretty much I'm, it. I'm, I kind of wonder what the um, what the need for the helicopter is. Uh, maybe I'm thinking maybe if people are terraforming, you end up like stuck on an island or something, or somehow you're stuck. Maybe that's the purpose of yeah, the, uh, the rescue. I'm interested in that. But that'd be really funny. Seems yeah. <laughs> <laughs> abandoned people on these islands yeah. that you're making. <laughs> it's just trap people. You're you're yeah. stuck on this lake now. <laughs> oh no. See, I, one thing I noticed about the maps, though, like the introductory maps that you get to choose at the beginning mm -hmm. of the game, 
you can actually, like, when you look at it, you can see that there are parts that are sectioned off that you'll actually need tools to use. Like yeah, you'll, you'll need, need the vaulting get, pole yeah. to get to certain aspects. Yeah. So, so for you example, can build a bridge. Yeah, so maybe the vaulting pole can break mm. after like a few uses, so you might be on the wrong side and you can't get back. Yeah, probably. Right. So what is I a spire emblem, man? Well, th but that's <laughs> the thing. Weapon durability. <laughs> so that was the thing that I was really scared about when this game was announced, was that like, you, when we first saw it, it was a uh, villager walking in, cutting out a tree, getting resources. Oh, and flimsy axe. Yeah, flimsy, it, yeah, all that stuff. And I was really scared that it was going to turn into a Minecraft survival game. Like, oh, this is, this is, uh, I mean, it's a survival game, but with Animal Crossing. Like, you know, it, it's, it's Don't Starve Together, but Animal Crossing is <laughs> cute. And I was really worried that <clears throat> the entire game was going to turn come down to micromanaging, but seeing how the game kind of has been playing out and how they, they've been showing us in trailers, like, oh, that's just the beginning. And the game kind of changes again to like, now all this crafting aspect and you're yeah. decorating again. And then and then it changes again to displaying your your the town that you made and then maybe you want to go through and redesign it entirely. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can mm -hmm. always do those things, replayability yeah. and, and excitement about the game. And so I'm getting a little more hopeful that that, that idea of micromanagement isn't going to exist as much. Yeah. yeah. I was a little bit worried about it being too like heavily, you know, influenced by the crafting, I guess, or that being too much of the focus. Because that's not as much fun to me as just having yeah, <laughs> the, just the nice the things, yeah, and just designing my house. But it does seem like it's not just trying to slow you down in the game, you know, mm -hmm. to have to craft everything. Maybe yeah. it's more about the customization <laughs> because with all the other options, it seems like it's going to actually be a lot of fun. Yeah, so. and speaking of customization though, like I'm really hyped for just being able to make my furniture, like custom furniture, like put right? my own designs mm -hmm. on them and stuff. Like I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. I know like Shannon, you used to de design a lot of stuff. Yeah, game, and so. yeah, and you can use the QR codes from uh, New Leaf, yeah. yep. which means all the designs that you know we've already collected on Pinterest, I can keep <laughs> using those. <laughs> there you go. All I've the, wasted all my the time. Saved all the kawaii. There's so much kawaii stuff. It's like, it's <laughs> like, and the clothes. And it seems. I think um, some people might. Um, there, there was like one YouTuber there was like, oh, I'm not sure if we can customize like pants and shorts, but it looks like in um, the, the tailor shop yeah. that the options were like dresses and shirts and hats. Yeah, it looks like it's all in there. Which, that's enough for me. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so I'm excited for that. I never got into doing full outfits, you know, some people would make really intricate, yeah. customized yeah. stuff, but I'll, I'll just use other people's stuff. People go crazy with Yeah, the they make really intricate, um, really cool things. Yeah. Although, I might just meme it up and have a room in my house dedicated to like Eric Andre memes. Just putting <laughs> just, on. Just a bunch <laughs> of Eric Andre memes yes. all over the walls. <laughs> I'll get the bird in like the little cage and yes. the bird up next to it. I'll, you know, it's, none of it's going to be. The meme room. Yeah. The, yeah. Yes, I, I like that. They've, they've been making them. I'm seeing them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, so everyone's going to have like their Nintendo room with all the Nintendo themed furniture. Yes. The meme room right next to it. Well, garbage, yeah. <laughs> Full of actual trash. <laughs> yeah, just some trash cans. Roaches running around there in de by default. <laughs> you start the game, the instant you make that room, roaches will be in there. Yeah, program. <laughs> yeah, we knew. We knew what you were yeah. doing. Like, they knew. <laughs> so, like, speaking of which, though, like, what kinds of rooms would you guys want to make? Like, just. I'm. I. So that was my whole problem with with New Leaf was, I didn't really have that creative mindset when I went into mm -hmm. that. And so I tried to teach myself that with uh, Happy Home Designer. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I did not like that game at all. Mm. Uh, I played it for about like 16 hours, and I'm like, oh, this is this is unfortunately not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Okay. And uh, but I was really hoping it was going to teach me how to better decorate an Animal Crossing. And then you know you can kind of use that with with New Leaf still. There's some some crossplay there. I was like, this is exciting. It's like, nope, it's boring. <laughs> um, and so I really didn't get that. And so I'm really hoping with this one, I'm gonna actually take my time and like sit down and like try to plan out rooms. Cause like as of right now, I have no idea. And I want to start getting ideas. And so I've been on Reddit constantly and looking at the the New Leaf pages to right. see what what was done previously and what people you know did then. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I want to I want to try to get more creative with that, but I, I you know we all had it. We had your Mario room. Everyone had a Mario room. Yeah, of course. And and like you had you know the fire bar and and the power star and all that stuff in there. And like I had an aquarium room, which I'm gonna do that again. And I'm curious to see how they do fish in this one. It's like you had a shark tank, right? You put the shark tank down in your room in New Leaf, just a big rectangle. 
Yeah. Let me let me do something cool with that. Yeah, like maybe you get to customize the size uh, of the tank. And yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. I cause like that's that's what I want to do. Like I want to make these like nice little comfy, cozy places that like I would want to live here. Right. <laughs> uh, but you know, was, but that that was the thing that I always liked is like the, the animals, like putting stuff in there, having my own museum. So. Yeah, I like to do I like to do this exact same thing. Like bugs, fish, bugs. and fossils. Like but don't the give thing. me the stupid little box with the green lid that reminds me of my childhood because I broke those <laughs> things all the time. Trying to put the lid off and it just snaps and I'm like, no, I'm, a, I'm the Hulk. But it always looked so gross that just having this like plastic little box with the green lid and then you have like this cool tarantula and I was like, no, 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 let me let me do more with that. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if they, if they actually like let us do more like, with that. Yeah, I feel like we might have seen some footage of like villagers' houses with aquariums, but I can't exactly remember yeah, what Yeah, I the haven't I, I've like. been because I've been like I've been looking for that stuff, mm. trying to find like, ooh, let me see let me see something. more of this yeah. and I just I haven't seen anything yet that I, you know, struck my fancy, mm. but that's one of the things I am looking forward to. Like if it's there, yay. If it's not, uh, there's still a lot to play around in the game with, though. There's a lot of exploration to it. So Sam, what about you? What do you want to? What kind of room do you want to make? Um, definitely a Zelda room. Zelda. Uh, All right. Yeah. Um, Big Zelda fan. That's right. I'm curious to see what franchises they will implement as design choices in the game. That's because I know they've always had Mario, Zelda. Then they've had Metroid. Um, and then they had Splatoon 2. Well, and, well, Splatoon in general back on New Leaf. Did they? Well, yeah. I never saw that. I did not see Splatoon. That must have been they, they also had Pikmin. It. They also had yeah. Pikmin. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm just curious what to see to see what Nintendo franchises they will rep as uh, design furniture and as clothing and stuff like that. Chibi Robo, anyone? Yeah. Right? I mean, I'd like a big Chibi Robo that I can just put in a chair somewhere. <laughs> that would be, oh, that'd be, so, be nice. so cool. I would what if that. he's a lamp and you just use this plug? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> I like that. That would be cute. Get this man a Nintendo. Yes. <laughs> Hire him now. <laughs> I think uh, uh, I was hoping to see a lot of the type of furniture and stuff. I don't know if any of y'all played um, Pocket Camp. A I, little bit. I, I have it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I still play. So, so I'll have binges where I play it for a bit, and then you know sometimes it gets a bit repetitive, and I'll admit it's very much pay to play at certain points. Yeah. But um, I do like all of the different furniture they've designed, and some of that I missed. Um, they did Sanrio furniture. Yeah. And apparently for New Leaf they had Sanrio furniture, but it was only uh, in, in Japan. Japan. Yeah. yeah. So can they do that again? Um, but it does seem like they do a lot of Nintendo different. You know, yeah. and they've had Splatoon in, um, in Pocket Camp too, I think. Um, and so I'm kind of the... hoping they like bring over a lot of that stuff because there's a lot of cute little furniture. Especially outdoor stuff. I'd like to see them bring back the Pikachu EV stuff yeah. from Pocket Camp into New Horizons because that was the stuff. Because I that's when like right when I stopped playing and mm -hmm. I saw that I was like, oh, they want me back in. <laughs> um, but I, I just like no, no, no. Pocket Camp's getting too repetitive, um, mm -hmm. as Animal Crossing games do after hundreds of hours. Yeah. But yeah. well, speaking of Pocket Camp though, like there was something that I wanted to see in that direct. They kind of confirmed, which is the ability to almost invite any villager that you want to your town. Hmm. So, like, in, in a way, because okay. remember, you can go on those tours and you can kind of find villagers and ask them to come, and ask them if they okay. want to come over. Sometimes they come to your town, like, through the campsite, I think, mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. New Horizons, and you can say, like, hey, you should come here if you like it and yeah. live. So I'm liking that. I'm, I'm really wanting to tailor it to just, I can get my favorite villagers, and you know, have them in my town yeah. right off the bat. I love Cube, one of my favorites yes. since back in the GameCube. And then I can also make sure that my least favorite are not <laughs> on my island. Yes. No peanut. You know what? This man has a vendetta against peanut. I despise peanut. peanut. Let me tell you why. Okay, so this squirrel mugged me as a child. Let me tell you. So back on the GameCube, right? I was walking around, stupidly, with 70,000 bells or something, right? Oh. And so this is back in the day when Animal Crossing was vicious. Like the villagers were mean. They would insult your fashion yeah. sense if you walked by them wearing the wrong Rude. colors. Like, they were like, look at you, what are you even doing? Like, <laughs> it was terrible. So I'm walking down the road, and like, yeah, I've got my money, I'm getting paid. And I walk past Peanut, I just like talk to her and she's like, Oh hey, you know you should buy this thing because you know how the villagers mm -hmm. would be. They'd be like, oh buy this thing for me. It's really cool. It's like 300 bells or something. And then she's like, oh hey, you can buy this like the stationery or something. And then she's like, for the exact amount of bells that you have in your pocket. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? She's trying to rob you. And I'm like, 
That's funny, that's a joke. So I just hit no, and so it goes through the dialogue and everything, I read through it, and then it brings me back to the option <laughs> to buy it or not. And I'm like, they're not doing this to me right now. They're not, they're, they, they can't be doing this to me. And I'm like, no, I'm just gonna hit no again. So I sat there for like three minutes trying to just hit no, like, no, I don't wanna get rid of my money. No. And then eventually I'm like, I'm just gonna, gonna bite the bullet on this one. I bought it and it's like lost all my money, immediately restarted the game. But I, I did so I many went, things that day. I, I did so many things that day and I'm like, oh, this is the worst. And I, I stopped playing the game for at least like a week or something Aww. because of that. So I despise Peanut, she's not allowed in my town. If I see her, she's getting beaten with, that ra <laughs> with a racket or something. Like she's getting, like I'm taking my net. I'm just over and over again. Like it's going to happen. She's not allowed. So yeah, yeah villagers, being able to invite them. I love that, it's gonna be great. And you get the, the option, like, it seems like they, there's like three and you get to, I did have that experience with the bells, except it was much, it was much smaller amounts when that happened to me, because that was true, especially for GameCube. Yeah. They were, crazy things would happen that were just against was, your will. It was terrible, it was it's, terrible. It's crazy how we've gone so far from like, <laughs> feeling like a lack of control of your life to, you know. Um, having much, much friendlier villagers being able to choose between like, it seems like there's three yeah. um, that are mm. going to come and you can choose which one you like and then choose where they live so they don't mess up your orchard, and, you know. Yeah, <laughs> right in the middle here, right in the middle yeah. of your meadow. Yeah. Oh. I like that they included mm -hmm. that, being able to just place them yeah. where you want. That's, yeah. that's You'd nice. You'd think that being the mayor of a town you can do that and someone couldn't just be like, I'm going to live right here and it's like halfway inside There's your so paper laws, driveway. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, you put your building 10 feet out in front of mine. Cool, I walk out and I see your house. This is great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, bad times, bad times. But <laughs> so many dead flowers. Not, not on the Switch, so. Yeah, and I'm glad about that. Mm -hmm. So one thing, since we were talking about villages, we didn't get to talk about this yet. Um, first, let's, let's I, I said my favorite villager, but what about you guys? Like, who are your favorite villagers? Oh no, I'm on the spot. <laughs> You guys first. No. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I like I like Lily the frog. Yes. The little pastel frog. I like yes. all the cute ones. There's a new pastel bear that looks really cute. Yeah. Like multicolored, like spacey colors. I like that. Um, yeah, I like all the cute ones, and I'm, I can't remember any names right now. They're yeah, right. Lily because yeah. Have all the amiibo I like, cards. I like the yellow dog and the pink dog, and uh, oh, Rosie. Rosie is. And Goldie. Goldie, Goldie. Yeah, yeah, Goldie. Yeah. I have a little pin of I have pins of Rosie and Goldie. I hate that. <laughs> Eventually, I have an Animal Crossing one. Um, but I'm I'm also curious if these two are gonna be. We haven't seen anything. Mm. Have we not? I haven't. With these two, mm. maybe there might we be. We saw the hedgehogs. Something. Yes. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, Sable. we saw Sable and Mabel. And Label. Labelle. Yeah. Label. Label. <laughs> she changed She's her fancy. name, and I don't know. How, it's, right. it's still Labelle, but she like got rid of the the last L E. I don't know if y'all saw that. No, I didn't. She yeah, her her name is spelled differently. Really? So yeah, and so apparently the story is that when she um, went to her you know fancy shop in City Folk, she changed her name to make it sound fancier, gotcha. you know, and it's so <laughs> now it now it's changed back to just L A B E L. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, but um, yeah. Um, probably Captain. Well, yeah, that's Captain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause he's a Kappa. He's like he's the only villager that I know of that's based off of a mythological creature. I never thought about that. Mm. It is K A P apostrophe N. A Kappa. Like yeah. Kappa, yeah. but Captain. I never yeah. noticed yeah. that. <laughs> it's a. Never let me down, Animal Crossing. <laughs> never let me down. <laughs> That's probably, there, there aren't that many mythical, um, there, there's like unicorn in Animal Crossing, one of the villagers. At least in Pocket Camp, there's a unicorn. I don't, yeah, I, I don't remember any, because once again, New Leaf for me was not inviting many villagers. They got, right. I got them where they wanted them, and I was like, stay there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so I think um, we can go over like a few more topics here. I, I wanted to bring up like KK Slider. I, I like KK Slider. He's, he's the guy. He, he he's gives. The, he's he, the boy. He's the boy. He gives me the music. It is nice. So Slider is your aesthetic, <laughs> for real. Like music, it's a thing. So I we don't know much about how we're gonna get our music this time. Yeah. Because like we were able to buy some of it in U Leaf, 
but and we also had the club mm -hmm. where we could just go to on yeah. Saturdays and get music too. But where is he gonna be? Like, I'm I'm concerned. There was like there there's one preview again, watching too many YouTube videos, Good. where they, they <laughs> see part of him in front of the town hall. Yeah. So maybe that's where he'll play in the evenings or something. I'm not sure. I, I would like to get back to more of like him sitting out at the curb of the of the city center <laughs> yeah. and, and playing music just like they did in the, the, the show, like the Animal Crossing show. Um, that's how he did his concerts. He just mm. kinda like went and sat out in, in like the town park and just played music played. for people. And so like, I would love to see that here too. Like maybe you can you can set up an area and yeah. designate an area that he can that he can go to. Yeah. That's just that's just wishful thinking. I would love that. You know, or I would be like, like or be like, there is a piece of furniture. It is the tree stump. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's and if there if there's a stump there, KK can appear. That sounds amazing. That you could plan your and, own and you could plan like, your own park concert of benches. You know, and have, especially yeah. especially with now that you're able to decorate with furniture and items mm -hmm. outside yeah. of your house. We see a lot more, like if you if you watch the video that came out uh, during the beginning of PAX where it's like the four girls that are playing together mm -hmm. and they show like, oh, you can like run around, like you can have all these decorations, like all these benches and stuff like that. That would be perfect yeah. to like, if, mm -hmm. to set up, you know, in-game events that with your friends and stuff like that. And if you could plan to like, have KK show up and stuff like that. It's like, hey guys, we're having a KK concert. <laughs> I don't know, I, I love little gimmicky stuff like yeah. that. So I would love to see something like that. Like you, maybe mm -hmm. you can, Call him up on your Nook phone and be like, "Yo, KK, come hit up my my that would be tree. so good." The KK Fire Festival 2020, <laughs> but this time with sandwiches and tents. <laughs> KK on speed dial. So one thing, like, I want to get to this next section really quick, but I, before we get to that, I want to mention like the new event animals that we've got. We've got CJ who's doing, I think, the fishing tourneys now. Mm -hmm. And we've got Flick who's doing the bug competition. He looks like a little chameleon boy. I love him like so much. Skin. And then Daisy May, who's adorable and is gonna be Perfect. giving us turnips and everything. Yeah, so, like her hat. So the consensus is they're adorable and amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. We, we've gotten that out of the way. Let's get to the next section. <laughs> Hey guys, yo, we're almost done with the show, so I wanna wrap things up with a little bit of a, you know, a shout out to the people who also like Animal Crossing but weren't able to come into this room to tell you about it. And so on Twitter, I asked some folks to just, you know, give us one thing that they're really hyped about for the new Animal Crossing game that's coming out. So let's go through this. First, we've got Hispanic at the Disco. People not being able to freely grief your island by putting 100,000 pitfall traps is cool. And I agree with that. As we said, the fact that no one can deforest your whole town or you know leave pitfall traps everywhere is, is I'm so happy about that. So, and we, we pretty much all agree on that. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's nice because it allows you to bring back the public play aspect of it. Because, uh, mm -hmm. I, I mean, there are the private room codes too. You can have, make a public room. You can just make yeah. a code. You can throw it out to your friends. You can be like, drop it on Twitter, or, you know, put it in a Discord group, and, and ask people to come and play with you. And the different multiplayer aspects like that are really good with random people, as long as they can't grief you. Exactly. So it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. Yeah. Only your best friends can <laughs> do terrible things in your town. You get a best friend me. Of course. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm ready to not have trees. Yep. I'm gonna get rid of your entire orchard. Good. <laughs> I don't want pears anyway. So the next one is from Deviant Tay, Mimikyu Breeder. And he says, there's so many things I'm hyped about, but my two main ones are filling up the beautifully updated museum and being able to fully customize my island with different pieces of furniture, which will make everyone's island truly unique. And mm -hmm. I resonate with that too. I can't wait to just throw furniture all over the place since we can do that yes. now. Yeah, Beaches. We can yeah. put stuff on beaches beach and furniture. rocks. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> like the beach furniture actually has yeah. a purpose now. Yeah, right. Yeah. A lawn chair in the middle of a forest. Who did this? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm ready for that. And then the museum. We oh, but we can't talk enough about the museum. Yeah, it's so pretty. Can we? Where's that thesaurus? I, I want more words. For pretty. We need better words for pretty, but yeah, it is beautiful. it is very pretty. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, it's so good looking. It's these, are, these, me. these are words Shannon used. I'm going to credit the artist. <laughs> She's the word Thank artist. You. She has the words. <laughs> and then our final comment comes from Bumble Knight. I'm mostly excited about Isabel making a return. Vis uh, return. Uh, 
a return visit, but randomized islands that you can gather items from to take back to your island seem fun and helps people who want to get things built as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we can essentially just go to different islands, pick up things, take them back, and I, I like yeah. that. Like, that's really cool. Like, if something's, if a particular fruit or something isn't on your mm -hmm. island, you can go straight to the, like, go do the tour thing and perhaps find that fruit that you want. So yeah. better have that Mix visa. It. You gotta. Yep. Of course. Yeah, you're going to the Caribbean like that. Yeah. You know, go from your island to wherever else it is. It, it's true. But the the mystery tours, I'm I'm really looking forward to because it has that same uh, aspect with the uh, the Tortimer Island, right? From from New Leaf. Yeah. You know, you can go there and you can do multiplayer stuff, and you can there there's different trees, there's different uh, insects. You can go there with your friends. There's some activities that you can do there. And the the mystery island tours, I think, kind of help add that extra level of randomness and newness mm. and just freshness yeah. uh, to, to the game that, that we really need just to stay engaged and stay, stay playing. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It is. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it, guys. This has been the sit down, but before we head out, let's talk to our guests here and where can people find you all on social media, if at all? So, Jeremy? Uh, well, you can find me streaming on Twitch uh, or on Twitter, uh, at Jal Bagel, uh, on both of those, just J-A-L, and then the breakfast food. Um, and I'm gonna be playing New Horizons when it comes out for like as many weeks as I can <laughs> until yes. people scream at me, stop playing this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can find me there. All right, well. You can find me at Twitter, at Ken7Jojo. I have the Yu-Gi-Oh! playing poker <laughs> picture as my profile. <laughs> and I think he loses, actually. No. Oh. Disappointing. Yeah. Well, he cheats. Oh, OK. That, that's true. He does yeah, stack his deck. But continue. <laughs> Um, so I, I have a Twitter, but I don't know what it is, so I'll share that right away. <laughs> I'll, I'll give that to you, because I am thinking it might be fun. I've never streamed anything, but I'm thinking Animal Crossing might be, I might just share some fun stuff from that. Um, I am on Facebook. I'm Shannon Madison, so you can, you know, I can share you dank memes and kawaii goodness, so, yeah. It's true. And she's an artist, too, so. Oh, I, yeah, once in a while I draw, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm DJ Raviest. You can find me on Twitter and YouTube, of course. And that's it for today. Thanks for coming, guys. This has been the sit down Animal Crossing special thingamadee. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching until the end. If you liked the video, hit that like button and share it with someone you think would like it too. We'd appreciate it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We upload at least two videos a week, so definitely subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date. You can also find us outside of YouTube. Until next time, catch you later.